Hey guys, how's it going? Spinosaurus the King here, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing if it's possible that a Utahraptor will appear in Jurassic World Dominion. This topic was requested by my Instagram friend named North Baca. I'll put the Instagram link in the description below, so make sure you give North Baca a follow. Anyways, let's get started with this video. So as we all know, the Utahraptor is not a dinosaur that is on InGen's list. However, this dinosaur has appeared in many Jurassic games like Jurassic World The Game, Jurassic World Alive, Jurassic World Evolution, Jurassic Park Builder, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, and only one toy was made for a Jurassic Park Utahraptor, which was the electronic one made by Kenner. And that's basically all the history of the Utahraptor in the Jurassic World franchise. Now, just because Utahraptor isn't on InGen's list, that doesn't mean that we can't see a Biosyn or Manticorp create a Utahraptor, as we do know we are getting scientifically accurate dinosaurs in Jurassic World Dominion. And rumored ones are Deinonychus and Pyroraptor, and also Therizinosaurus, Giganotosaurus, and Dementrodon. So maybe we can also possibly see Utahraptors. I personally would love to see a Utahraptor pack in either Jurassic World Dominion or even Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 2 or even Season 3, if they ever decide to make a Season 3. Utahraptors I definitely prefer more than Velociraptors since they're actually a lot more scary since they're much larger, much stronger, and have way bigger toe claws and are also very intelligent too. We could see some epic battles with Utahraptors in Jurassic World Dominion like a Utahraptor pack versus a Velociraptor pack or a Utahraptor versus a Dilophosaurus or even a Utahraptor versus a Carnotaurus or a Ceratosaurus. Also another thing I'd like to see is a Utahraptor pack versus a T-Rex a Giga, or even a Spinosaurus, or even a Utahraptor trying to take down a sauropod for food, like a Triceratops or Stegosaurus. That would be very cool to see as well for like food or whatever. Utahraptors have always been my favorite for raptors, and Trodons are my second favorite, Pyroraptors are my third, Deinonychus are my fourth, and then Velociraptors are my fifth. I bet we could also see some terrifying humans deaths by Utahraptors. That would be a, a lot more scarier than a Velociraptor death. If we do see Utahraptors in Jurassic World Dominion, my guess is they might be from Isla Sorna, since Biosyn does have a laboratory on that island where they make dinosaurs due to the plot leak. And maybe the Giganotosaurus that appears in Jurassic World Dominion is coming from Isla Sorna that was made there with all the other new species that are rumored like Microceratus, Dimetrodon, Deinonychus, Pyraptor, Therizinosaurus, and of course the Spinosaurus is also rumored to return. Perhaps ever since 2001, Biosyn has been secretly making more dinosaurs on Isla Sorna to coexist with the Jurassic Park 3 and Lost World Sorna dinosaurs and to possibly sell them as well. I can already just picture how scary it would be to see a scene in Jurassic World Dominion with the pack of Utahraptors attacking Biosyn on Isla Sorna at nighttime. Like that would be very, very scary. And also just imagine seeing like a Utahraptor going up against a, a pack of Pyroraptors or a pack of Deinonychus. That would be a good battle to see as well. Or even fighting like the Lost World of JP3 Raptors. Also, since the plot leak says there will be a dinosaur auction in Malta, it's very possible we can see a Utahraptor in the auction scene. That would be awesome. And there is a certain dinosaur that is chasing Owen Grady in Malta. Maybe it's like, you know, the Pyroraptors or the Deinonychus or maybe even a Utahraptor pack that's chasing him on the bike. Who knows, could he even be a Giganotosaurus or a Spinosaurus? In my opinion, the Velociraptors are very overrated, especially the ones from Jurassic World. I mean, I did enjoy the Velociraptors from the first, second, and third film. Ever since Jurassic World, they felt like puppy dogs. And I hope we get to see new raptors in Jurassic World Dominion that are actually scary, besides only having Velociraptor puppy dogs. Also, you know, if we don't get Utahraptors in Jurassic World Dominion or Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 2, just imagine when the live-action Jurassic World series comes out one day, or even like the next Jurassic World movie, which is con apparently confirmed by Frank Marshall. Imagine we get Utahraptors there, because like, I feel like Utahraptors would have been good for like the older plot too, because like we know uh, before the Fallen Kingdom plot, we were, they were talking about doing like a Jurassic World military movie with uh, militarized dinosaurs. In Jurassic World, they mentioned it, and then apparently in, in uh, Fallen Kingdom, that was going to be the original script, but then they scrapped it and then made it like this volcano movie instead. But I feel like Utahraptor would be an amazing, an amazing dinosaur for the military because like it's super fast, it's super smart, it's strong, 
It's uh, very, it's very aggressive. It's got these very powerful claws, a somewhat powerful bite force, massive toe claws, like a Utahraptor in a pack. It's like the ultimate killing machine. Like Velociraptors, they're also deadly too, but Utahraptors are much more deadlier because they're a lot stronger and bigger. So I think it would be really cool to see a, a Utahraptor pack make an appearance sometime down the road in the Jurassic World franchise. I'm not sure if it'll ever appear in Jurassic World Dominion, but I think there's a possibility we could see it in other future films. Well, I hope, that's for sure. I also hope one day Mattel can make a Utahraptor that's size accurate to the other Mattel figures. That would be amazing. Now, for the design of the Utahraptor, personally, my favorite Utahraptor design is the one from Jurassic World Alive. I think that would be a great toy for the Utahraptor. And I mean, the size of it, I guess they would make it like double the size of the Velociraptor toys because we know Utahraptor is a uh, seven meters long, which is almost double the size of the four meter long Velociraptors in the Jurassic World movie franchise. So, I mean, hopefully we get a Utahraptor toy that's actually size accurate. I mean, I'll be very disappointed if they make a Utahraptor toy that's the same size as the Velociraptors because we know Utahraptors are a lot bigger. But that would be really cool. I mean, hopefully one day Utahraptor will get rep more, will get more recognition. In my opinion, it's a very underrated dinosaur. Also, just imagine we see like any Velociraptor pack come across a Utahraptor pack. Like before they fight, I could actually see them trying to communicate with each other, but it probably wouldn't work out so well because I mean, they're not the exact same raptor. They're different species. So I'm not too sure if they can properly communicate. They might be able to communicate a little bit, but they won't be able to fully understand each other. It's like me trying to fully understand French because like I speak only English. It's like a Velociraptor trying to properly understand a Utahraptor. That's probably very, very hard for them to do. Anyways, what are all your thoughts on this? Do you guys want to see a Utah Raptor pack in Jurassic World Dominion or not? Tell me in the comments down below. To end this video, I'd like to give a huge thanks to my YouTube team. Patrick Awan, my 2D and 3D animator. David Church, the best director I met on Instagram. BK Go Crazy, my very first hardcore Spinosaurus fan. Zane Schiller, my first friend in the Jurassic Park community on Instagram. Anthony Ellis, my drawer who draws epic background pictures that I use in some of my videos. Rafi Sarager, my comedian, since he makes me laugh the most. And Animal World, my best dinosaur friend in real life. If you're interested in any Spinosaurus the King merchandise that I'm selling on my Patreon, the link will be in the description. I'm currently selling t-shirts based off the animations that me and Patrick make, which costs $40 to $50 per shirt. Sweaters are a bit more expensive, unfortunately. Coffee cups are about $32 per one. I'm also selling custom Photoshop pictures to use for whatever you need, some for which is $5 per one. If you're a fan of my discussion videos and wish to be on one discussion video a week of your choice for 35 minutes for the discussion video. That will cost $15 a month. It'll be basically like we talk about whatever you want. If you wish to support me to get better content from me, then contact me through my email or other social medias to talk about it. If you wish to have a 10 second cameo of getting eaten by a dinosaur of your choice in upcoming animations, that will cost $5 a month to appear in each upcoming animation. Receiving deleted scenes of previous animation films is $10 a month, which will give you a concept art and deleted scenes about two a month. Me and Patrick have our own website where we talk about our series Jurassic World Survival of the Fittest and where we also post concept art of our upcoming projects. And we also post Jurassic Park dinosaur theories. Like for example, we have the Spinosaurus the history of it and we also have the jurassic world strand on size remaster coming soon and future projects will be posted on our website so if you're interested in reading jurassic park fun theories and to speculate come check out our website also if you guys wish to join my discord server to chat with me about jurassic park and other stuff you're more than welcome to just remember to be respectful and polite the link will be in the description below to my website and my discord if you're enjoying the content on my YouTube channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss anything new. Leave a like and a friendly comment. If you have any friends and family who you think would enjoy my content, please share this video with them and also my YouTube channel too.
And don't forget to do the exact same thing for my YouTube team. And have an amazing day, everyone.